I think in order to learn more about what's going to happen, they can diversify their cash into crypto, as you've seen Square and Tesla and MicroStrategy do. Um, nothing focuses the mind like taking a risk on it, you know, and with your cash, which is supposed to be safe, right? <laughs> so I um, and and yet. Very few will do it, and the reason they won't is because of our accounting rules. Our accounting rules um, uh, classify crypto on the balance sheet as an intangible asset. Intangible assets can only be written down. So, you, if if the marked market is on the downside, you have to mark it down. If it's on the upside, you don't mark it up. It doesn't make any sense. And uh, I know the SEC had something to say about that. Uh, warning corporations, make sure you understand what you're doing here if you're going to diversify some of your cash into uh, into crypto. So it's it's interesting. That's what they should do. Yeah. But I think the accounting and regulatory dynamic out there suggests that it'll be a while before they do. Well, I, I know NFTs are uh, all the rage and so, so interesting. So the way we look at um, Bitcoin is it's the first global private mon monetary system ever, right? The um, way we look at NFTs uh, is this is the beginning of uh, the first global private property system. Now, uh, you, you can say money is property too. Uh, so there's now, uh, Bitcoin is fungible and uh, NFTs are non-fungible uh, and, uh, and provide the ability to bring real scarcity into the digital uh, asset ecosystem. Uh, and, you know, uh, our, our next generation internet analyst, the one who didn't go to crypto, uh, is now into NFTs. And <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, so he owns at least 41 of them. So he's spending a lot of time in the space. And, you know, it's, it's a very interesting phenomenon because in 08, 09, after that crash and near death experience in the financial markets, I remember a lot of us lost a lot of our status symbols um, by, by design. Like I had a beautiful gold watch, uh, it would look like a bracelet, and during that debacle, I mean, I couldn't go around wearing that, I just couldn't. And I still don't, you can see uh, how, how. But what's going on now, interestingly, is the emergence of uh, an indication of status in the digital ecosystem. So I think the emergence of status for a lot of, uh, a lot of millennials is more in the digital space than it is in the physical space. In fact, they would much prefer to buy an NFT uh, or, uh, or let's see, um, I think Fortnite, what do you, what are the... Skin. Skins. Skins, yes. Thank you. My son. Yeah, <laughs> yes, your son, my son. Yep. So, right, you know, uh, I, I don't know if Gucci's in there yet, probably. They're all, they're all moving. They're all moving into that realm. Uh, and I, I said to our team, because these, these are all young people, many of them just have coming up, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, are status, are status symbols coming back? And it's like, yeah. Yeah, they are in an NFT space, you know, this is the way we want to spend our time, it's fun, it's creative, and I thought, wow, okay, that's really interesting. Uh, I don't know if Yasin is still here, uh, I, I think he had to go to the He's airport. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll see on Yasin's, uh, in his, on his tweet threads, uh, uh, a picture of his empty apartment, except for a futon on the ground and a television, I think you had over there, and the statement that he'd much prefer to invest in, um, in Bitcoin and beyond uh, than actually 
live comfortably with right now, or that was when you first joined our yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> what does your apartment look like now? <laughs> so, uh, so it, it's an interesting evolution. A whole new world is evolving. And I know many people, uh, my partner included, saying, like, the NFTs, that's ridiculous. You can just copy them, and they don't understand, right, this new world. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.